so good good morning again mm -hmm. Nina. it's a pleasure to talk with you and to make some some questions um, and my first one came from because I read that you you decided to to follow this, this path of photography uh, when you saw or you were influenced by the Arbus mm -hmm. and I look at your own old work and I was like wow I, I also see some similarities um, about the, the, the Americans of Robert Frank so my, my first big, not in terms of aesthetic but in terms of the concept so my first question to you is do you consider your work or your way of uh, intervening in the society like a, um, to, to show the other face of the American dream, upside down of American dream? I respect both Arbus and Frank enormously and I think if we share any of the similar um, preoccupations it's this desire to investigate um, individuals, scenes, outside of maybe our, our own experience and to see how um, subjects fit into this idea of the American dream which is uh, such a huge notion so impossible always impossible mm -hmm. yet so um, consistently expressed and almost demanded um, that in some ways it's an obvious um, it's an obvious theme to kind of poke holes into or to try and find um, a level of reality that's not part of the myth because the myth is so big um, and so I do see myself coming from that tradition most definitely um, and with Arbus I mean she also um, revels in what other people may find strange or um, disconcerting but she finds quite wonderful. Um, for me, I, I maybe not might not share exactly the same love of my subjects as she does of her characters. But I definitely find uh, them intriguing, and I and I want to know them and meet them and be part of of their life. Hmm. Um, you see yourself as a documentary photography, and mm -hmm. I was like very curious about that, I understood uh, what you said mm -hmm. um, but uh, y y your photos um, they are very objective but um, they have already some um, aesthetic quality the way you frame it the way mm -hmm. you it's like uh, um, I see it's like you, you, you require um, a, a long time in fr from the, the viewer perspective to understand completely your photograph mm -hmm. or your picture um, don't you think that or even maybe it's not important but don't you think that in this case it's, um, it's you should be m more an artist because you pick the two uh, issues you grab a team and you uh, photograph it but you have also some aesthetic and formal uh, worries, or or you are not. No, I mean, I, I definitely do have some um, some aesthetic ideas before going into it, into a topic. I mean, um, in Homeland, the colors appear a certain way. It's photographed a certain way, so they're very saturated. Um, there's a lot of flash used. There's this reference to advertising photography, mm -hmm. um, and so, but. For me, the central difference um, is that I am not constructing scenes or sets or relationships um, in order for them to be photographed, which is more of how contemporary photography has kind of passed since I would say, you know, the times of Cindy Sherman's first mm -hmm. film stills, yeah. mm -hmm. and that. Most, when people think of art photography now, they, they think more of these kind of constructed scenarios. Or even digital transformation. Yeah, level. yeah, yeah. And so that's why I feel like I, I um, am more in the tradition of like a Robert Frank or yeah. Diane Arbus. Yeah, yeah, I understand. And your photos, I, I look at them, and you already uh, said it also, 
that it has a, a very powerful political statement uh, in a good sense of the, what is a political um, um, attitude. Mm -hmm. um, but you maintain this, but you, you achieve um, a level of intimacy that it's, uh, I would like to ask you, in some of your series, like mm. the Wounded uh, Soldiers, mm -hmm. um, or even in the others, that mm. uh, you, you achieve, um, you engage with the, with the, with the, f uh, the person that is photographed, but with no, with no subjective, so um, with no commitment. Your commitment, in my opinion, it's in another level. It's a more, I don't know, political again commitment when you choose what you want to, to focus in with your camera. So my question is, um, how do you relate with the person that is in front of you? Mm -hmm. um, uh, in terms of time, if you take much time to, to take the photo or if you sure. took um, different frames and then you choose, mm -hmm. um, do you talk first? Do you, mm -hmm. how, how is your approach to the to the issue that you want sure. to, to, to grab? So, um, for instance, in the Purple Hearts work, which are kind of formal portraits of uh, 20 wounded veterans, mm -hmm. um, I have a long conversation first, and I want to know about them. I ask them a series of questions. Some of them were standard questions that I come up with before. Some of them were questions that came about from conversations at that time, um, I'm absolutely unable to walk into a room with someone and just say, stand here and to know exactly what I want. I mean, in some ways, the, the conversation that precedes the photograph um, allows me time and also gives me ideas of, of how then to conceive of the picture. Other photographers are very capable of doing that. They can walk in and they know exactly how they want a person to be, where they want them to stand, how they want them to look. I'm not one of these people. And so um, for me, it, it would feel um, too removed to photograph someone without first knowing about them. And so um, I would spend anywhere from an hour to three hours and then sometimes go another day when I would do those portraits. The photography itself actually would take very little time. Because you don't, you don't put people on the, on the stand, you, you follow no, the No, no, so, so like with the Purple Hearts portraits, the way it went is I would uh, meet them mainly at their homes, mm -hmm. and we would sit down, we'd have a conversation. Um, I would record the conversation, and um, then afterwards, I wouldn't photograph them while I was talking to them, then afterwards, I would um, ask to look around the house or go around the outside of their house, and I'd say, um, I'd like you to sit or stand here. Sometimes I'd set up a light, sometimes I wouldn't. And then they'd say, well, where do you want me to look or how do you want me to look? And I'd say, well, you can do whatever you like. Mm -hmm. And usually what happened, um, and why I think the pictures have very much a similar quality throughout, is that they would then recall our conversation, which had to do with lots of things. It had to do with their experience in war, experience growing up, being recruited, whatever. So while I was photographing them, they were thinking of something else. Mm -hmm. I don't think they were thinking of being photographed. So that's why they are, they, that you um, achieve that kind of physiological... Yeah. Uh, maybe it's, it's one of, of the reasons that you achieve that kind of level of photography. I believe why the pictures have this intimacy, there's also, um, um, in my photographs, if you look at them aesthetically, uh, there's very little white space that mm -hmm. you ever see. There's no room to leave the picture, yeah. right? And, and in the portraits, it's a, a square, six by six frame, and um, I always imagined that th these subjects lived in a kind of a box. Mm -hmm. And um, some veterans who've looked at my pictures, I recently did a program with veterans at a hospital in New York where I showed them some of my pictures and I um, taught them how to photograph themselves and each other. So that when they looked at some of the, my pictures, their comments were, he looks like he's in prison, hmm. he's me, I feel like him. And so part of that is the lack of 
the white space in the frame. Mm -hmm. We can feel like like, like we yeah, are. You feel like you're in the space with them, yes. and, and the spaces aren't cleaned up or tidied up, or, mm -hmm. or I mean, what you see is the way it is. Yeah, totally. um, and, so. and, and grabbing that that you said, uh, what is your relation with the camera? So what is Nina without a camera and Nina with a camera? Yeah. The camera is your weapon. I, I don't think that you are um, a, a woman that, is, um, that has some, 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 some attraction to guns. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, exactly the opposite. But so it's a gun, but it's a gun as a, met sure. a met metaphor. Um, how is Nina with the camera? Do you have it's an easy camera? You it's walk around. It's a fascinating question. 